So this little connector here may look familiar to you if you have a Galaxy S7. It was actually bundled with every single Galaxy S7 on the market that I'm aware of. Um, if it wasn't with yours, you got gypped. Sorry about that. And Samsung is very adamant that you do not throw it out according to this label right here. So let me show you the best ways to make use of this device. It was of course bundled with the device to transfer files from one phone to another, but it can have so much more potential. Obviously the way it works, you just plug it into the micro USB connector on the bottom of your phone and just use a little bit of common sense. We now have a full size USB connector on our phone, which opens up all kinds of possibilities. So whatever your mind can think of, this phone probably can do. So first up, what I like to do, one of my old cameras is a Nikon D3100. And it doesn't have any type of like Wi-Fi capability, so I can never get my pictures to my phone quick enough. So like if I'm on vacation and I want to share a picture on Facebook, I have to wait until I get home, or I had to have uh, drug my laptop. So let me show you how this works. I took some pictures on my camera. We're going to pop the memory card out. And now we can connect this memory card to this SD card reader which is then connected to the phone. So that's so much more convenient. You know, you can just pack the OTG cable and the memory card reader, and now you can get access to your high quality photos on your phone. And then what's even better, you know, you know, it has that high resolution and it has the high, you know, optical zooming. So you can really just get in there, get the detail. And best of all, you can share right to Instagram. So let the world know that you're going to have the best Instagram pictures because your DSLR is connected right to your phone. No one can show you up. You can tell them you took the picture with your phone if you really want to um, impress some people. So the next thing you need to try to do, plug the little dongle from your wireless mouse and keyboard right into that USB connector. A mouse will instantly appear on your phone and you can use it to navigate it, type, and everything like that. It's really handy. Um, say like if you didn't have your laptop with you or your computer and you found out like a paper was due, you know, you take classes online, you can now connect a mouse and keyboard and you could theoretically write like, you know, a 500 word document without a sweat, you know, just get like a free word processing software and you're good to go. But, you know, of course, I'm not really as productive. I would just use it to type a big, long, drawn out Facebook status. Let's just be honest here. I'm not trying to lie to nobody. And while that's pretty cool, I have some more cool things for you as well. Try connecting a regular micro USB cable to another device. So now here, I'm charging my Jaybirds X2s straight from my smartphone. So like I said, you just take the OTG port, you connect a USB cable to it, then connect the micro USB part to whatever device you want to. And it will work with anything, drones, headphones, other phones, whatever you want. And of course this will work as well. Any type of flash drive or hard drive will also work with your phone, as long as it's formatted correctly. So I basically transferred this video to the flash drive on my computer, and now I can connect it right to my phone and watch a video without hindering the internal storage of the device itself. Pretty cool, you know, if you want to just like sit in bed and watch a movie before bedtime. Pretty neat. I'm impressed. Simple things impress me. Maybe that's the key. <laughs> and last but not least, you can connect a gamepad to your smartphone with the OTG cable. Keep in mind, not all phones will work, like this PS4 controller. Unfortunately, it's not supported. But any type of generic USB controller should work. Give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you. And let me know what you think about all these tips in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, that's it. And I'll see you later. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe for more. Bye.